tickets. One, two, three, we're super! Hold on, everyone, slow down, slow down, I'll get back in. Hello, can I have everybody's attention for three moments, please? Three short moments. First of all, on behalf of Phil Jeffries and Pro Box North East, I'd like to thank everybody for coming along here tonight to celebrate the man that is Thomas Isomba. Cameroon's greatest gift to the northeast of England, so Thomas, and with your good coach Sean, Sean Casey, if you'd like to join us here for a quick interview, thank you very much. <laughs> so Willie, so Willie. So here we are, the new Commonwealth flyweight champion in just fifth fight. Oh no, no Josh, Sean's going to come in. Yeah, don't worry. Sixth fight. So. Commonwealth champion. Now you came over here in 2012. You landed on a certain, can we call him the Mackham's doorstep? And what's happened since then? Bearing in mind the journey isn't over yet, Thomas. I think I, I think at the moment is a is a uh, is a at the moment is a, is the who I start to live in Sunderland because uh, my my dream become true uh, and then I'm so 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 happy to 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 live now in Sunderland because yeah. the things everything going well in Sunderland yeah. well one of the things when you first moved over you knew almost nobody whereas when you've spent three years in a city somewhere that gives you time to build up friends relationships and obviously the you've also got a bit of a grown fan base now as well obviously having more time here yeah, first of all, you know, I didn't born here. I was I was born in Cameroon. People in England didn't know me. Uh, that's why when I came here, I, I didn't have uh, the fun. I didn't have the, the the people who can support me. But now I think a lot of people know me in in UK yeah. and Sunderland. Uh, I think now you see the people, many people, many friends come here yeah. to to support me and then to do party with me. It means I have now a lot of people. Uh, I can. It's, it's great to see the people, to see different people around of you. New faces, yeah. yeah new and the thing is, the journey's not finished yet. Now, there's a certain gentleman over here who we're going to bring in, Mr. <laughs> Sean Casey, who's been with you since the start of the pros. Now, Sean, this is your first interview with Peep Magazine here. Now, how did the story? How did the story first begin with you and Thomas? Through Jaffa. That was it, really, late, wasn't it? Yeah, he's great, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... Uh, I, I, knew, I knew Thomas through Javis, Jim, and just uh, just got together. That was it. Worked together. And that's... So when the fight got made, obviously, with the Wally Din, Wally Din, Dennis Hobson, and he still does hold Wally in high regard, and I know Thomas had fought him in the amateurs, and there had been confidence from that. But when the fight was made for Wally Din, how confident were you going ahead of that fight? 100%. 100%. And how do you see Thomas's career progressing from now? Just one fight at a time. Just uh, defend his belt a couple of times and just, then just try to move on. So he's fighting the flyweight. Now, whenever I look at you, Thomas, you look very, very big for a flyweight. Now, do you, do you have any problem making the weight? Do you make the weight easier? Do you see yourself going to Superfly at some stage? No, for me, I don't have. I think I have to, I have to challenge Flyweight and Superfly, Superfly weight. For me, I don't have problem. First of all, before, before I'm going, I would like to say something because uh, I know and you only, you only are a fighter. You have to do, you have to, you have to challenge. Someone is here. is a is a good fighter. is a champion in Commonwealth. He called Anthony Babyface. Is a someone he have a, a, a is he doing so, he doing uh, uh, super uh, super flyweight. I would like because he have fun. We are 
we, we live in the same, the same, uh, the, the same, how can I say, area. You know, for me, I know in the board, we can have two chefs. Two chefs is the best, I'm the best. I know I'm the best than him. I would like to fight Anthony Baby first, first before I'm going because we can get two, um, two chefs in some way. In a restaurant, you can't have two chefs. Yeah. You have to, you, you have to know who is the best. So yeah. what you're saying is, before you start moving on with Commonwealth defences and going on to look for world honours, you want to tidy the the local domestic scene up first. And what you're saying is, you want to fight basically. You, you want to fight Anthony Nelson. Anthony Nelson, Belfast, yeah. Is there any particular reason for that? Yeah, first of all, I would like to fight with him because long time ago he have. Um, he write something in the first book about me, who he say uh, he couldn't fight with me because he couldn't fight someone who he can sell certain ticket. Yeah, of course, at the moment, but the people didn't know me, you know me. The people didn't know me, that's why at the moment I, I can't say that I couldn't fight, I couldn't sell a ticket. And then, but at the moment, I have many people, I many, many friends, I have you many. you grown friends, yeah, yeah, and family. Everyone want to see Thomas Isomba, and then... I think at the moment uh, I'm ready, ready to fight with Anthony. Fight. If he is, 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 is a good fighter, I, w I wish him to, to accept the fight. Well, I, I, I did see your fan pick, uh, put a, a post out on Facebook. That's easy for you to say. I put a, uh, you put a post out on Facebook where you called him out. And even just from the comments below that, yeah. the, the feedback I'm getting from the fans is that the fans... Are, they like both of you, and they would just see it as a really good fight, and it's something that they want to see. But at the same point, it's your career doesn't depend depend on Anthony Nelson, and his doesn't depend on yours. But when you've got two guys, Commonwealth champions locally, it almost makes sense to bring the two together. Yeah, of course. You know, we 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 are fighter. We have to make the our fun happy. Yeah. Happy if we doing if we fight together, I think we will make the the our fan happy. You know that's why for me I think it's really important. Uh, Nelson and me do the local fight, and and then we have to know the fan have to know who is the best. But I know Thomas is the best than Anthony. Anthony, that's for me hundred percent. I'm sure for that. Yeah. Well, I th I think where do you. Uh a visit down to Malgate's gym, so we can certainly put the question to Anthony and Antamal himself and see what he thinks about that. But before we do this, like Sean mentioned before, what brought you two together? It was a certain Mr. Jeffries. Can we have you over here for a moment, please? Right, that's enough. Off you go. No. Language, <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> now, I asked Sean before. Before the Wally Din fight, was he nervous for the fight? Not one bit. Oh, sure wasn't. Yeah, and I asked you the same question beforehand, and you came back with the same answer. Why were you so confident in Thomas winning the Commonwealth belt? Different class, different class. He's, uh, I think Thomas, I've got another couple of more fights, I think he's world title material, you know? I think he is, he's, uh, he wants it more, trains hard. He's always, he's only been, a, he won the title, he was back in the gym, Sean, the next week, train hard. So uh, I just, I believe in him, you know, I believe in him. I've invested a few quid in him or I wouldn't have done that, like, because Sean will tell you I'm tight as a fish oh, as ours. Oh, aye, Tight as a fish as ours. Uh, chuff, yeah. as they call it. But no, I've invested a few quid in him. It's not just yourself, because obviously Dennis, Dennis had I, high regards of Wally Din. Yeah, well, Den Den Dennis, Dennis, as you know, Dennis is my pal. And Dennis said, uh, if, if I was to lose it to anybody, it's to me. And he, he said, the boy there, he says, he could, he's world title, title material, you know, world title. Now, I can see the potential of a world title, especially at the lower weights. You often get the careers accelerated a lot more quickly because there's less fighters down there, so the opportunities may come along quicker. Uh, Thomas is talking about Nella. Well, that's up to Mal Gates, you know. Mal Gates, Mal Gates might have different plans for Nella, you know. We've offered the fight, so if, if it's, if, if it's going to happen it's going to happen but uh, it's, it doesn't look like it's going to happen Mal must have different, I think Mal have different plans for Nelly you know so I can't force anybody to, Sean and uh, Thomas has asked me to meet at the fight I've tried to meet at the fight but like I say Mal might have different plans for him so I, I think that's just uh, Would the fight be at Superfly though? Uh, Thomas will move it would up be at Superfly Thomas will move up to Superfly he'd fight anybody Thomas like you know but like I say he's got, he's got Eddie Earn now he might, Eddie Earn might have plans for him so yeah. really yeah uh, 
I don't think that fight's going to happen anyway, you know what I mean, Phil? Well, it's, like I mentioned before, from the comments from the fans from Facebook and even from my knowledge of both guys, it would be all action. Oh, I'm not going to say Thomas would win. I'm not going to say Anthony would win. It would be all action. Now, now, mind you, Nella's a good kid, you know. He's, he's a good very kid. good I pr- kid. I promoted him all the way up to that, to tell you the truth. He's a good kid, like, but at the end of the day... Uh, if we've got to go down with different paths, we will. But I will get him. I will. I'll have him active. You know, I'll have him active. One way to do that early next year, be fight, you defend that title. You know, I will have him active. I'm not going to have him still. You know, and like you say, Sean and him asked him asked us to try and make the fight on the way back up because it was a little bit common about ten tickets or something. You know, and like you say, Mal, Mal, Mal might have different plans for him, but I've asked I've asked him for the fight, and obviously, if I don't know, it's, I don't know if it'll happen. I don't know. Well, we're going to have to wait and find out what happens on this one. Stick but on, like I say, if you want to stick it on the shields or stick it on anywhere, or Steve Reeve can put it on. But like I say, he's got if he's got different plans from he's got different plans. We're not going to hang about, you know. Which might, well, that's the thing with boxing; you can't rely no, on one no. fight. That's like the the Carl Frampton, Scott Quigg. They've gone in different directions yeah, yeah, yeah. and eventually come together. I, 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 honestly, I think it would, they're two good kids, and I think it would be a good fight for the North East. Definitely. And uh, but like I say. I'm not going to hang about with him. I'll speak to Sean there. Uh, we'll have him out early next year, defend his title. And we, if we, 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 like we say, we've been taught in a day of event from the Commonwealth. There's a few names, different countries. We'll take him anywhere to box him. Like He's just he's wanting to box anywhere. Like But Thomas can understand in Africa where he comes from, the best fight, the best. And he can't understand uh, why the best not fighting the best up here, you know? And Because he's, he's used to fighting the best from Africa, yeah. you know? And as you've, you've had that Lewis Norman on, on on the Twitter, Twitter is saying I'll fight him. Well, we'll fight him. We'll fight him. You know, we'll have the, we'll fight anybody. We'll fight anybody. Like, but uh, he's fearless, isn't he? He's fearless. Ah, he's fearless. Like, well, we're gonna have to wait and find out about what's going to come next, whether it's Anthony Babyface Nelson or an alternative route. But in the meantime, I think, I think that's out the window anyway. Mala must have different plans for him. But he's a Commonwealth champion. We'll fight anybody. Is that right, Thomas? Of course. Last to word to Thomas Asamba. Uh, we have to, I pray for to for everyone who come to support me because first of all I gave my life God uh, uh, show me the way and then everything I done I have to say thank you God and then and say thank you Java and Sean and the veterans out there and the fruit shop and Sean's got the dinner medals on his beard there look <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Mr Thomas Asamba, Commonwealth Flyweight Champion. Sunderland's very own.